look at the footage, figure out exactly what we need to fix and what we can improve on, and um, I'll be ready for the next guy. The Reptile, did you expect him to be as durable as he was in there? I know he's got the 11 rounds with Wilder in there, it gives us indication he's going to be tough, but did you expect him to be able to take those punches, those flush hits on the chin? Yeah, I feel like I'm the reason why he hung in there, because if I went there, if I stood to the body like I was doing when I was hurting him, I definitely would have gotten him out of there, but like I felt like um, I didn't put the gas on the body so like I was supposed to, and like I said, you know, it's boxing, you know, you have, you have good days, you have really good days, and we have sucky days. My last fight was a really sucky day. It was a decent day. You know, it was a decent day against a durable guy that had a full camp, not 40 hours like he's Paul Favek in for the money, or, or three weeks for a last minute replacement for Deontay Wilder. There's a guy that know he was going to fight me since February, and he was ready and prepared, and I beat him. He was the heaviest guy on the network since Nikolai Valuev. How, <laughs> does, that, how does that feel, to take that match off? I mean, the main thing is letting people know, you know, I, I think it's a positive influence for a lot of big guys out there that, that because you're big, don't let people discourage you. You know what I mean? The thing is constantly work, 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 and constantly improve on your tools, and it's be the better you, you know? Of course, you don't want to be obese or be heavyweight because it's unhealthy, but the main thing is understanding where you're at and, and improving on you it. Think you would match up with better stylistically because they um, are two different fighters yeah fight i mean different. nobody matches up stylistically with deontay he's a wild figuring windmill throwing punching beyonce wilder you know what i mean just as an awkward guy you got this kind of dig deep getting his chest and beat the crap out of him i mean i think aj would be a a, a, a more technical fight with jabs and, and, and right hands and go to the body but his condition is not up to par in never any one of his fights and he doesn't his power definitely fades towards after the fourth or fifth round so the main thing is having fun and then um get any one of them suckers but i prefer aj at this point because eddie hearn kind of put that out there. And speaking of AJ, what did you think of his last performance here? Sucked, Parker? sleepy, boring. You know, he fought for the smaller guy that was hurting him, and, and the referee was in there, you know, saving his behind. Um, they have somebody that's three, three or four coming forward that can take shots, go to the body, and back him and get in your face. It's a different story. What do you think a fight with you and him, you know, how would it look? Because, you know, you're bigger than Parker. How would that fight look different? Uh, I, I feel like uh, it all depends. Um, you know, we know AJ likes to start off fast, and uh, I think It'd be a fun fight, but I gradually beat him in the ground. I, my condition and mental attitude would just beat him. Constantly beat the brakes off him. Now, this whole week, there's been a lot of like controversy as far as if Wilder will fight Joshua next. You know, if that doesn't happen, who would you want next while you're waiting for that to settle? Um, I think Manuel Charles, like I said before, the German guy has the WBA belt. Like I said, I got HBO on my side right now. Like I bring a TV. I'm the only guy that has a TV contract that doesn't have a belt in America. Or, and I feel like that's to be the best thing to do. We get the regular belt, we make some noise, become a champ, and then we take it from there. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.